Hello and welcome to the Spur BI tutorial with me, James from Matador Software, where we're going to look at how we can use the shared keyword within Power Query to show a list of all of our available M functions and improve our Power Query and M knowledge and obviously advance our, our Power BI skills. So I've got mock data here. We've landed on a navigation page. We looked at some of this before in another video, well production data. Um, but if we go into Power Query uh, and look to transform our data, we can see mock data, arbitrary data there, but it's not really relevant to what we're doing. Now, the first thing that we can do here, if we right click within this queries pane on the left hand side, we can click new query and blank query. And this is going to start us on our journey to exploring the M functions all within the Power Query sort of GUI. So we can do it that way. Or we can click a new source and hit blank query and both of those things are, are, are going to achieve the same result. So that's completely up to you how you want to operate there. Now what we can do here within the editor, we could just type in hashtag and shared. And what that does is it opens up, here we go, a result of all of the power query M functions. Obviously very important when you start looking at more advanced use cases. Um, and the, the GUI itself isn't enough. So we can do it that way, or as I'm showing here again, once we've got a blank query, we can actually just paste over in the advanced editor and say, let source equals hashtag shared in the source. And that's going to do the same thing. So important to show you that obviously within Power BI and Power Query, there's usually more than one way to skin a cat. So we can navigate through here land wherever we want and, and explore what this does when we click in the function. So for example, this is one for Azure Synapse Analytics. Um, okay, and, and what it does, it gives you, dependent on the function, it gives you a varied level of sort of guidance, it's documentation. Now what you can also do, instead of just going to hashtag shared, if you know the function you're looking for, you can directly type it in here. So splitter dot split text by delimiter. And again, this will give you a breakdown and documentation as to how that function within M and Power Query actually operates. So if I go back to shared, um, we can look at some other features of this. So what we could do as well, again, if I navigate around and look for a specific function to study, um, there's some enumerators here too, but what we could do is say, look at text combine. And you'll notice that when we look at this particular function, the documentation is much greater and there's an option to sort of enter parameters and invoke that within a function. So not only is it documentation, it's very interactive and helpful as well. Now, when we're back in the shared screen, we can actually click convert into table. And what this is going to do is give us the data that we saw before within a Power Query table, and we can actually use this to filter. So again, if we know what we're looking for um, or we want to have a look around a certain group of M functions, we can do that. So here I could filter and select split text by delimiter. Um, I can go into the function again simply by clicking on that hyperlink function. And here I could actually start to, to invoke a function if I wanted. So I could split by a, a period or a full stop. Um, and then I could just supply a line if I wanted to to see how this works invoke days.hours and you see it's going to split the rows by delimiter. So it's almost like an Easter egg, this uh, shared keyword, really useful. I'll go back into the, the report itself, nice navigation page, help our end users um, go around this mock report freely. And as usual, if you like this or find this content helpful, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe and share. Thank you.